What is going on guys, Tis Waffa here, and welcome back to some more Rock of Ages 3 Make and Break. Let's continue breaking in the story mode. Now last time we left off, we actually beat the game. We even beat like uh, Poseidon and I think it was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is right up there. That's where the Poseidon boss battle was. We also defeated, um, I think it was also in the same episode, we also defeated Moby Dick as well, which is really cool. So all we have to do now is just these random missions over here that we didn't do. These straggler missions, like, I think that was this France. Yeah, the France War, we have to do that one because we already did its challenges there. Then uh, we have, what was this one? Austria War, and then we have the time trial and obstacle of course, for that one. Uh, wait, what is this thing? Paint boulder. Is that new? Leaves a trail of paint which can... Or units cannot be built. It quickly has did something. I didn't read what... I, I was so confounded, like... Was that there before? I think it is new. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else new that they might have added between me uh, recording last episode and this episode. Hmm. Maybe. Either way, we're up to 92 stars right now. I didn't know that. Holy heck, we need to unlock this other Humpty Dumpty mission, so... Uh, wait, why is this not unlocking right now? Oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Wonderland, what was it? Borago, Bor Borogoves? Probably mispronouncing that out the butt. <laughs> but yeah, I only need to do uh, four or eight more stars to get the 100 star one right there. But we also have, I think this is Moscow over here. So yeah, we have France, we have Austria, we have Moscow. Uh, and yeah, we already did the unit challenge for all of these over here. So we, we don't want to do that, but we still have obstacle course, avalanche, ski ball for Moscow, time trial, obstacle course for Austria, and just the war mission for France. So how about we jump into France this episode, and then maybe we'll do the challenges for the Austria, or yeah, the challenges, and I guess the war for Austria. Then maybe next episode we could do Moscow, and then the, those last two Humpty Dumpty missions, and that'll probably be it for Rock of Ages 3, unfortunately, but hey, at least we're jumping into pretty much everything that the game has to offer, right? At least for, you know, the single player story mode campaign. We may have some random episodes every now and then with the, uh, like, online thing with the custom maps and stuff like that. But let's see what this France war is all about. <laughs> Mm, beautiful flowers. Ah! The beast. Come on, oh, How dare you steal my roses, go. thief? You, you are going to stay in my dungeon home. forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, look at that urinal. Oh, oh a new visitor. visitor. Don't be afraid. We are the beast's servants. Turned into these things by a terrible curse. I am not a pipe. Maybe you can stay there, fall in love with the beast, and lift the curse for us? Hey, my trusty boulder broke me out. Like, instantly. <laughs> oh no, the wall of my dungeon is ruined. My life is so tragic. Wow, that is one sad... Cup? I, don't, I, I, th I thought it was a urinal at first, but I think it's a cat and cup. <laughs> it's disgusting. And then the I am not a pipe thing. I, th I think it's a reference to that painting that's like of a pipe, but the name of the painting is like I'm not a pipe. Or like there's text on it that says I'm not a pipe, I think. I think that's what it's referring to. <laughs> Either way, let's see what we're going to be doing for this one. This one seems interesting. It seems like it's got like thorny vines and stuff like that. We just saw uh, like during that cutscene, my character was getting a rose. So I could only assume there's like squiggly thorns all over the place for this map. So maybe we should get a, a tough ball that has some good armor rating or something like that. I don't know about the fist boulder. We'll get the armored boulder, perhaps, or maybe even like the Globus Globus Cruiser. I'm th maybe. The thing is, we don't really need the buff that it has, you know, the additional gold for destroying enemies, uh, like structures and stuff like that. Did we get any? Oh, yeah, we got the paint ball. What was that again? Leaves a trail of paint on which units cannot be built. It quickly degrades over unused tiles. Ooh. Interesting. I wonder if we just test the thing out, like during a war. Like maybe, maybe for like an obstacle course, we could test it out and stuff like that. You know, even though you know it doesn't make sense for an obstacle course, but you know, just to see what it's like. But I don't know. What are we going to do for this one? Should we test out something like a sand boulder just to see what it's like? Maybe. I don't think we've used it this whole uh, of Rock of Ages three. What if we not use the snowball? I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe for like Moscow. I assume it's going to be cold up there, right? Up in Russia, so. Maybe we could save the uh, the snowball for that, and we could test out the sand boulder here in France. I think we're in right now. I guess we could. I think we've tried out like pretty uh, pretty much every other ball, and except for of course the heckin' block of ages. I avoided that one on purpose. <laughs> but I think other than the new paint one we just got and the snowball we're going to be trying in the future, I think sand is the only other one we haven't tried yet. So yeah, I guess we'll try out sand, see what it's like. But of course, definitely want to get the mine. So there you go, get that. 
We have every unit thing over here unlocked. I don't know if you can, there are these three slots over here. I don't know if uh, you could unlock anything for those, but everything's lit up over here, which is good. There's no like padlock symbol, which is awesome. But what do I want to get? Oh, yeah, we have the guillotine now. Yeah, the guillotine was really powerful. And we have the wheel of pain. I like the name of that. And there is an upgrade for it as well with with like spinning maces that go at the top of it, if I remember correctly as well. So if I do that, that takes up another slot. I'm, I'm not going to get it for right now, though. I'll, I'll save my money. And then we have the whale that inhales, right? Uses powerful vacuum suction to capture boulders. Yeah, seems like something we could definitely use. And of course, the opposite, the windmill fan that could blow boulders off the track. I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe windmill. Let's do windmill this time. Ah, uh, you know what the oh uh, yeah well the whale does have that little bit of delay while the windmill works all the time right so yeah I definitely think that's good. Then we we have ballistas as well. A fire or fire is a powerful arrow but cannot turn beyond ninety degrees. I do like the aspect where it's able to auto rotate on its own kind of like a catapult and kind of like the uh, upgraded trebuchet but it can only do it in a ninety degree fashion. Hmm, interesting. I guess we could get that out. Definitely want to have something like the explosives or like the frog or something like that that we could put in the pathway. Because uh, we don't have, like, anything right now. We just have regular things. So, frog, explosives, fireworks. What do I want to get? Maybe I'll get the fireworks. I always love getting the fireworks. So, there you go. We have one slot left over. Do we want to use it on, like, something like, uh... Oh, we don't have any trebuchets. Like, we have ballistas. We need to get trebuchets, right? Like, it's a stable. It's a classic. So, I guess we'll get that. Boom. I don't think we could upgrade it, right? If I do the upgrade... Yeah, nothing happens, I don't think. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. Boom. Yeah, I can't do it. That sucks. Hmm. Anyways, I guess we'll get this. So we got the catapult, or no, we don't have that. We have the sand boulder, we have the trebuchet, we have the fireworks, we have the ballista, we have the fan, we have the wheel of pain, I think that was called, right? Yep, wheel of pain. And of course, we have the mines to get an economy going. So how about we just jump into this? What is it? This button. Here we go. All right, let's jump into this. Let's see what it's like. Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, okay, we jump over that. So, okay, yeah, maybe we want to put some ballistas here. Because it is a nice straightaway. Oh, you know what? We probably should have put some uh, trebuchets here. There you go. Get a couple trebuchets. Nah, you know what? Yeah, we put another one right there. Maybe get some uh, fireworks kind of scattered in there. Maybe get some uh, fans blown left to right, right to left. Like this. Ah, I like that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Maybe even get some, uh, a couple fans like right here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we could do that there. Oh, and yeah, we, we need to get the mine. I don't know why I didn't place that down like immediately. <laughs> mine there, mine there. Is there another mine over here? Oh, yep, there it is right here. At the very end, basically. Speaking of end. Okay, here's the very end right here. We should definitely get... Let's get some trebuchets here facing backwards. So then whenever he goes that away, let's get some uh, ballistas here as well. Boom. There you go. Get some ballistas. And then, uh, you know what? Let's get some Wheel of Pains mixed into here as well. You know what? Let's place it like right... Ah, you know what? Pick up that. There you go. Get a wheel of pain there, and I can... Oh, I can play some stuff right here. Nice. Let's get some wheel of... Oh, I can't get another thing, unfortunately. I do want to get, uh... I can almost get a firework. I do hear what sounds like money that just fell right there. Was that... Oh, yep, there it is right there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Got the money, and let's place an explosive there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I think our balls, uh... I think it finished before his. So yeah, that's good. That's good. We have a little bit of a head start. But remember, because we're like a sand boulder or whatever... We do degrade over time, so I guess the faster we are and less obstacles we hit and... Ah, man, right as I say that, hit a heckin' frog and a sticky cow at the same time. Man, and we got elephants in the background, catapults in the background, there's an economy there, we could probably just go around it, yep. Oh yeah, we're able to dodge projectiles or whatever, yeah, you see that? We're not even taking any damage or anything like that, they just bounce off us, which is good. Can I go around it? I can! Ooh, and I hit a sticky cow, but no! Am I gonna respawn, like, basically behind those towers? I hope so. It, oh, nice. It detected that I was behind the towers. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you can definitely see right now. We don't, oh, is that the, that's the hot tar, I think. Yeah, you can see the big bucket of tar at the very top. Oh, man. That, oh, that suctioned me in, but it still didn't have enough speed right there. What? Oh, he's got the uh, the moon and earth boulder there. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Is this good enough? I don't know if that... It didn't feel like it sped me through right there, but I guess it did. Hmm. Either way, continue... Uh, Get out of these obstacles. There you go. Nice. Speaking of obstacles, you don't really have anything like here. I don't know why. Anyways, there's money right there. Oh, I don't think I can get it. Did I get that right there? I think I did. Maybe. It seems like I think this is the straightaway to the end. Yep, and there's a frog. Let's just jump through that. There you go. Sticky. Ah, I hit a sticky cow there. And I could probably just go. Oh, I almost go through that tower. That's good. We're breaking through the center of the tower right there. I need to start gaining some speed. Ah, oh, man, I'm getting hit. I don't know if there's a. Uh, do the catapults count as projectiles? If so, then I'm able to just. Oh, man, we hit the, the gates at the same time. Ooh. If we were like at the very end right there and I was like almost dead, then we might have won by a sliver. Anyways, I kind of want to continue getting. Uh, I'm going to get another. I'm going to get some more ballistas like right here. Let's get some more ballistas here. Why can't I slip? What? 
There we go. Do I have to? Okay, now we have the ballista selected. <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't work just a moment ago, but yeah, here we go. We have another straightaway here, so let's definitely mix in some trebuchets. Like this. There you go. Mix them in like so. Go over those big uh, rocks right there. That's good. Might want to get another, uh, maybe like a spinny thing like right here. Maybe a spinny thing like right here in this uh, intersection area, I guess you can call that area. That might be a decent spot. That might be a decent spot, especially because remember, the ballistas are able to turn and move and stuff like that, right? So there you go. Maybe mix in a couple uh, explosives or uh, fireworks here and there. Boom. There you go. Nice. I like that. We can go already, which is awesome, but we still have fantastic amounts of money. So we do need to start spending it. Let's definitely get some more. Uh, let's get some more trebuchets here. Let's definitely do that. Boom. Boom. And let's get some ballistas here as well. Mixed in. There you go. Ah, we don't. Uh, oh, uh, I could. Mm, I can. Uh, uh, you know, I'll get a spinny thing like right here. How much does that cost? 360. I could almost get it if I could find some money falling from the sky. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Perfect. And boom. There you go. Where is he? I want to I wanna shock him if I'm like in the area. I might as well. Oh, I think I'm able to do it. Man, he went around us. Come on. Oh, he fell off the map, though. So that's good. So he takes a little bit of guaranteed damage right there, which is good. Where is he going to where is he going to respawn at, though? He's still falling. What in the world? There you go. Now he technically fell right there. <laughs> that was crazy. OK, there he is right there. Let's let's do this. Boom. That seems like a good spot. Ah, we got him, and he fell directly off the map like a dumb. Nice. All right, well, we still have some uh, decent money. I might get another, uh, I get another trebuchet, like, right here. That seems good. Nice. Let's do that, and I can pick up some money. Boom, there you go. More money, more money. Where the, uh, there he is again right there. What is he doing? I can shock him again as he's, like, rolling up the hill. <laughs> All right, let's go. He's already at half health. So, yeah, look at that. Oh, he's got the, uh, he's got the angel boulder that can double jump. How did he, he's actually stuck there. Like, shouldn't he respawn by now? I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Let's definitely avoid these guillotines as much as we can. There we go. Hit the side of it. Make sure we won't hit the blade of it. It's, uh, even whenever the blade is like falling down, stuff like that, the blade can still damage us. So don't wanna don't wanna risk it for the biscuit. As we get a heckin' sticky cow. I wonder if the sticky cow is able to basically act as like a, a, a little bit of a shield for us. Maybe it's able to like maybe perhaps soak up some catapult hits. I think we're I think we actually are impervious to the catapult uh, projectiles. It did say we're impervious to projectiles. I I do think the catapult like rocks and stuff that they throw at us counts as oh no! Speaking of projectile, I'm projectile right there. A big sandball going fly with that and frog bouncing me. <laughs> but yeah, we do need to uh oh oh nice. I what in the world? It popped like a boom. <laughs> that was so crazy seeing that 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 frog like basically like deflating like a balloon. <laughs> that was insane. Do I want to, you know what, I might destroy his economy real quick. Ah, uh, but he does have these oil things here, but nah, he's about to hit our, uh, well then again, he did have that huge, ah, uh, you know what, let's go. There are a lot of things like right here. Oh no, 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 the sand boulder's so small. No, no, we need to at least do some damage. Ooh. Okay, look, what? No, the sand boulder just died. Oh, man. Nah, that sucks. All right, well, we have like $3,000 right now, which is good. He didn't take down those uh, trebuchets right there, which is good. How about right here? Can't do anything here, unfortunately. Why can't I place anything right there? I don't know, but I could uh, I could place something here, though. That's good. Let's place down, uh, let's place down another trebuchet like right here. Sure, why not? There you go. Let's do another uh, trebuchet here and here. There you go. Let's get some more uh, ballistas just kind of mixed in right here. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. More uh, explosives, more fans. I need to remember if we have fans, right? Uh, I might want to get a fan. Let's do a fan like right here. Or should I do it? Or maybe like right here. Like it's really cheap to have it right there, but you know what? I might, I might do it. Three fifteen to get another one. Should I do it already? I'm like, we, yeah, let's go already. At least, at least we could, like, carve. Or, I don't know what. What would you even call it for a heckin' sand thing? We could form our ball pretty heckin' fast because it's a sand ball, I guess. We don't have to like technically carve it, I suppose. So it, it, we are able to respawn pretty quickly, which is good. We do have that advantage, it seems. And of course. We've already taken down a pretty decent amount of their buildings. Might want to continue taking. Oh, definitely want to watch out for the. Oh, nice. We took out one guillotine right there. That's good. I want. To, while we're going slow, take down a couple other catapults here. Slow them down a little bit. That's good. Oh, don't want to overshoot it. Whoa. Okay, that's good. Whew. Didn't overshoot it right there. That's great. Hold on. Yeah, he's got some catapults back here. Uh, I'm looking at my health right now. I don't know if they actually did any damage right there. Maybe. It's hard to tell. Oh, man. Oh, we're taking some hits from those. Oh, we actually killed that elephant. Whoa. We're down to half health, though, so we do need to watch out for that. There's a catapult behind us. We need to watch out for that, too, because right here is where we, like, died and turned into a tiny little grain of sand, basically. <laughs> need to oh, I hit a heckin' cow. Oh, man. Oh, man. There are a lot of catapults here at the very end. And boom. Mid-speed damaged boulder. Only did a little bit of damage to it. It's down to like about half health. All right, let's see. Where is he on the map? Let's go to him. Where is he? Boom, there he is. See if we can zap him. I think I can. Can I? Oh, I can, actually. Almost got him. He actually killed our wheel of pain there. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Whoa. 
Hold on. Nah, he, nah, he got us in the end there, man. That sucks. Let's get some uh, ballistas right here, though. That, that'll be good. There you go. And uh, what else should we get? Fans? Can I mix in a couple? Oh, I can, I think. Yep, I can mix in some fans here. That's good. Uh, there you go. What else can I get here? Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to get a bunch of ballistas, like, right here. Like, a big line of them. Because that's what... Oh, I can... Oh, can I do that? Why can't I do that here? Oh, I hit... Oh, yeah, I've got 20 ballistas, so I can't do it. Man! Ah, that sucks. Uh, what should I do? What else can I do? Like, I guess, I, if anything, I can place down some fans here, perhaps? But you could just go right through them, right? So, I don't know. Should I just go right now? Let me see if there's anything else, uh... Oh, yeah, I guess, if anything... Do need to have something, like, right here, right? So there you go. Get something. Oh, I can't get any ballistas and get some explosives, though. Yeah, I mixed in some explosives. Definitely do need to have, you know, a little bit of something around here. Or fireworks, whatever you want to call them. Can't do any more, though. More Wheel of Pain. Let's do that there. Do another Wheel of Pain there. Can I do a second new Wheel of... Nah, I can't. What about right here? Uh, I can't. 3 out of 15. Oh, I don't have enough money. Nah, all right. Oh, wait, hold on. Money. There you go. Four. Oh, nice. Okay, let's get a Wheel of Pain there. All right, let's go. I could have shocked him right there, but whatever. Uh, we have to, we have to hit him, like, two, maybe three times if we want to heck and kill him here, unfortunately, so. I'm like, we did clear out a pretty good path. That's up. I'm like, he's rebuilding pretty well. I don't know why. Maybe he has the Phoenix Tree or something like that unlocked, perhaps? I don't know. But it feels like, it feels like he's rebuilding on areas we've already broken down. Hmm. Either that or, uh, oh, nice, we got rid of that guillotine. That's good. We get rid of the sticky cows. Get rid of the sticky hot tar. Get that out of here. Nice. We already got rid of a few of the, uh, the catapults here, and there's so many of them. It's crazy how much money the that can computer has. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to compete with it. Unless, of course, I have, like, a, a much more resilient boulder, obviously, right? But, there, get rid of some catapults while I can, right? <laughs> there you go. Still a few catapults right there we need to watch out for. If they're reloading right now, I might be able to take down a couple. Of, ah, took down one. Okay, not too bad. Some ballistas up here, I believe, that are shooting at me or something. I don't know, but the- oh! Oh, and nice! He got destroyed! That, what'd he get killed by? I don't know, but max speed damage boulder, he's down to, uh... I think one hit might be able to get him. One hit might be able to get him. Let's go to the very end again. Let's see, uh, I wish it told me where he died, so I'd be like, okay, that's a great spot to, you know, continue putting stuff. Let's get some, uh... I can get- okay, I can get a couple more ballistas here. I guess I'll put a couple like that. There you go. Get a couple there. Can't place any more now. Man. I can place down a couple more explosives, though, so there you go. Another explosive, another explosive, another explosive, another explosive. What else can I do? Trebuchet here at the very end, facing backwards. That's good, that's good. Let's get a couple of those. Nice. Get a couple of them like that. Any more I can place, like, right here? Mmm, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. Nice. I can do two more trebuchets, which is a good number. I love that number. Probably hit them from behind or something there. Nah. What about here? That's 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 a really good straightaway. I like that. Let's place down another thing right there. It's more wheel of pains. Nah, I can't afford it. Uh, I think by now we should have mined out the entirety. Where is he going to respawn before? Uh, nice. Let's try and zap. Oh whoa! He just immediately falls off the heckin' map. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if there's any more. Oh wait, yeah, we're still mining right there though. That's kind of interesting. I didn't think we were able to do that already. Golly. Nah, man. Yeah, he just keeps falling off though. I'm not complaining about that. Maybe he died of fall damage because remember every time you die, you do take a little sliver of fall damage. So, hmm, it might be possible he actually... I keep running into these cows. I don't know. Oh, my God. How did he place down those catapults? What? Oh, the hot tar. No, it's hot tar. But I'm pretty sure every time you hit a cow, isn't it supposed to be, like, gone forever? I, th I thought I thought that, uh, that was the case, but I guess not. Hmm. Either way, try and go around all that trash. I don't know if there's still anything even over there, but... Do have a nice opening here? Nice opening here. Avoid the cows. Still a couple catapults on the right side there. We need to watch out for. There you go. We're, we're still doing okay on health. Not, not, not... Not great. Well, you know, we're, we're at about three quarters health right now. I'm probably going to go down to, like, maybe half health by the time we hit the very end there, but... Oh, wow, his, his boulder's getting... Look at that! Look at his boulder cracked out the butt! Small chunks coming out everywhere. There's a killer wheel right there. That, oh, it actually killed him there! Man, that killer wheel, or whatever it's called, did a great job there at the very end. Speaking of end, we have half health, doing some great speed. Boom! Knocked down the wall. The beast is going down. Let's crush. There you go, and kill some of the crowd, too. <laughs> Wait, why did the left stands not go down? I went... Ah, whatever. Four door hits, though. That's pretty good. Not bad. Considering our ball died once, his ball died two times, I think. Maybe three times. That's, that's decent. Not bad at all. Nice. I think we have enough time in the episode to maybe do one challenge or so. So, let's see what challenges we have over here. We have a time trial. We have the obstacle course. Uh, you know, let's do a time trial. Obstacle course is kind of similar to the war. You know, because we're basically avoiding obstacles, right? So, I suppose if we do the time trial, 45 seconds for first place, what is the uh, 100th place? So, 
anywhere from like 45 seconds to a minute and 15 seconds ish. Which means gold and stuff is probably going to be like a minute and a half or something if I had to guess perhaps. Oh, this is an ice map. Ooh. So it is. Yeah, it is a good idea. Oh, I think I said I was going to do it for Moscow, right? This is Austria. I guess uh, we might want to use the snowball for the Austria war. That might be a pretty good idea. I think it's impervious or whatever. Just slippery ice. Is this slippery ice right here? I, I don't know. I was looking around the map, though, as we're going around, and I'm not really looking out for shortcuts. There's one right there we could take, obviously. We have to slow down a ton to go around this big curve, obviously, right? So we could have... Oh, no, 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 man! Oh, can I save my... I don't think I can save myself. Yeah, we technically fell right there. Man! Already, someone is almost finishing right now. Golly, look at this slope. You just spawn in, and you're almost falling off the map already. Jeez. Then we turn to the right here? I think so, yeah. Yep, here we go. And then, is that the end down there? I think it might be. I mean, there's like a rock version of that one song. I, I forgot what it was called. Can I do a shortcut here? Oh, I might be able to. I, oh, I, I, I slowed down a little bit there on purpose. Because I was like trying to control where I was going to land. But yeah, undershot that. I guess if anything, the first, the first time you do the time trial is a little bit exploratory. You are able to just kind of look around and look for shortcuts and... and, and Oh, hold on, hold on. This splits up here. Which one's the best one? Left, right, or are they the same? I think they're the same. All right. Oh, wait, there's a bouncer in the middle, though. We might be able to hit that bounce and save a little bit of time. Oh, man, it keeps figuring... It's like a DNA pattern here, actually. Ooh. Is this the right path? Left? Wait, what? Oh, oh I guess it... I don't know. Was the right path shorter? Or was right, right path a dead... End? Oh, it might have been. Looking at that cliff there on the right, we might have been able to land right here and save a ton of time. We might get, like, bronze or something like that by getting under two minutes. So, oh, let's hit the... Oh, nice. We hit the stuff right there. That's good. Olympic bronze. We did get a bronze. Under 150. We died twice, maybe three times right there. And we still got bronze. Not too bad. And, yeah, like I said, uh, gold is about a minute and a half. 128 right there. So, yeah. Let's do it again, though. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Of course, not fall off the map. But now we know of a couple shortcuts. I don't know if I'm going to take that one shortcut. It, it seemed really good. I don't know if I'm going to take this shortcut that's, like, right here either. I don't know. I might just play it safe. Hold on. Uh, I'm not able to get I'm not able to get on that cliff out thing, right? Yeah, we're we Oh, whoa. Look at that shortcut I just took right there, you guys. Whoa, I risked it all right there. <laughs> now, what about this? Is this a legitimate shortcut? What is this? What is this? Where does this go? Uh, I have I don't know. Wait. Oh. Ooh, I think that Ooh, you can save a lot of time there. Hold on. Oh, and it even respawned me up here. Whoa, look at this. Boom, we're all the way down here now. 40 seconds. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I know we fell right there, but that huge shortcut we took and then like this potential massive shortcut we could take here at the very end, we may get like a really good time. Like even gold. Like it may be that forgiving if you take those shortcuts, you guys. We have to do it in the next 28 seconds though, so we do need to watch out, but I am staying here on this right side. Ah, uh, this isn't it. Yeah, this isn't it. Up here, this is it. Can I do it? Ah, that looks way too far away. Oh yeah, look at that. That's way too far away. I might, I might, I might have still, still been able to get gold there though if I didn't take that jump. Maybe like 20 seconds to do all that. Like maybe 25, 30 seconds if I didn't fall right there, you know. I, I, I think it would have been possible. We technically fell twice right there, so if anything, we got a we might even be able to get like silver right here. What do we get right there? Like one minute. 50 something seconds we might be able to get silver if we get like under 140 which we might be able to get right there 138 not bad yeah we got silver 139 is for silver nice all right let's do it again we got bronze we got silver let's try and get the gold let's see if we can do it now where was that jump that really good time saving shortcut because that that silver was 10 seconds above gold and we fell twice which is uh oh oh no oh man i jumped wait you know I, I'll, I'll restart it right there yeah, I'm like restarts are basically instant anyway, so hey, might as well do it, right? But if we're going, to, if we're failing that early on, yeah, I'll restart. But if we fail like you know towards the end of the map, I might as well just finish it, right? See how we do. And we didn't. Oh, yep, we didn't uh, over jump at that time. That's good. And I didn't take that shortcut right there, man. That would have shaved off so much time. Now right here, I think this is it, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Then we fell off like right here. I need to make sure. Where was it? Oh no, I'm not gonna. Oh no. Nah, man, I'm not gonna land. Ah, oh, where, where, what was the time? Oh, well, at least we're gonna be up here again. That's good. Okay, well, 
Uh, boom! I just landed like on three or four people. <laughs> but I may, even with that mistake, may still be able to get the gold here if I just take it safe. Make sure I don't, I don't try and take that one massive shortcut, which isn't even actually a short. I don't think you can actually do that one, actually. So if you go left side, right side, and then left side, I think it does it three times here. Maybe I'll just stay on the left. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, nice. Uh, ah, these buildings here are not really shaped to what I'd want them to be. We have about 25 seconds now to do this. I think right here is the last curve. Yep. Can we do it? Maybe. About 15-ish seconds. Oh, man, the music in the background's really picking up. I don't like the sound of it, but I think we might be able to do it, you guys, even though we failed right there. About 10 seconds extra. Whoa, as long as we don't heck up right here. Jump, jump. Oh, we got it. I think we got it. Yeah, we got the gold right there. 128. Awesome. All right. How many stars do we have, though? I think we got one star for the gold, or, uh, for the, what do you call the war? And we got, yeah, we have four. Now we're up to 96 stars. Nice. Well, hey, I think we actually have enough time to do an obstacle course. We might be able to get that 100 stars and then unlock this Humpty Dumpty mission for next episode. We're going to be doing the France War and, of course, the Rut or uh, Moscow War, as well as the Race, the Avalanche, and Ski Ball. And then, of course, those two uh, Humpty Dumpty missions over there. We're going to be doing that next episode. So, to the Austria obstacle course here. And I guess we could test it out with the, because uh, we, could, we could pick a ball for this one, obviously. I guess we could test this out with the Snowball and see how good this thing is. I don't know how good it is, like, uh, what the stats are. I assume it's relatively similar to the Rock of Ages. That's what they usually are for these weird specialty balls. So, uh, slowly, oh, slowly melts over time. So, yeah, if you take too long, that's that's kind of bad. 2,000 strength. So, strength is lower at 1,700. Speed is 23. 23 and then 10 for acceleration. Okay, same thing there. Damage is 170 compared to 200, so a little bit less damage. Doesn't matter for an obstacle, of course. Uh, and then weight is at 80. I think it's a little bit lighter, yeah. Okay, well, let's get the snowball. Boom. So we're going to, oh, look at this. These guys have the same idea. Is that the Rock of Ages or is that the Smiley Boulder? I don't know. But yeah, they start a heck of a head of it. Yeah, it's the Smiley Boulder. <laughs> That's funny. Did he knock off my nose? I think he knocked off my I don't have like a, a carrot nose. You know that or it's like a, a random RNG to have a stubby nose or something. Crazy. Oh, that was a, I didn't even see that. It kind of blended in right there. I wasn't even looking at him. I was looking beyond him. But there was a heckin' Yeti right Oh, no, we have the explosives. Oh, man, we already lost a third of our health right there. That's crazy. Hold on, I'm not gonna. Oh, did I hit? The, I think I killed the whale right there. Nice. I think if you jump while you're heading towards the whale, you might have uh, a chance of actually killing it right there, which is awesome. I'm like, it helped me out. It also helped out our uh, our, our, our race mates, I guess you can call our opponents. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Let's go through here. It's already broken through. No need to. Oh man, look at those explode. Yeah, keep going first. Keep please keep going first. Ex detonate all the explosives for me. Whoa. Oh, what was that one ball that we had? That launched us in the air, and we were able to, like, constantly jump or something like that. I don't know if that was a glitch or, like, a feature of that specific boulder. But it was kind of crazy. Oh, oh, some whales right here. Nice. Nice. Avoid them. I don't think you're able to turn around, so if we go in the cannon, boom. And that's the end up there. Nice. So as long as we survive these killer wit Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa. Took a lot of damage right there from those maces. And I outran the, uh, the whale right there, which is good. I think we're going to get first place. Let's get first place twice. We only have to do two rounds for the, uh, for the obstacle course, which is good. Yep, we got first place right there. Nice. And, of course, we get more stars in the end, too. So, either way, let's see. Let's go to round two. What are they? Oh, yeah, they always have the same ball. I don't know why I thought they might have changed balls here. <laughs> that would have been really cool if you could, like, strategize a little bit. Oh, now, yeah. okay, I think I broke my own nose. You guys saw right there, I had, I had the pointy nose, and then I rolled over it. You, you might have even been able to see the snowball kind of, like, lift up off the ground whenever I was rolling over the nose, and, yeah, it broke it. <laughs> So yeah, that kind of sucks. But uh, maybe if I like rolled a little bit side, like look at all the obstacles that are already broken though. That's awesome. That's great. I didn't even explode. I, I, I hit like one explosives. Everything else was done by the uh, the teammates there. Enemies, I guess. Like I don't know why I keep calling them teammates. <laughs> I'm like we start on the same line. I keep thinking we're teammates. Oh no! Oh, I hit the springboard there. Oh, we still fell off, man. Ah. But yeah, we we probably could have kept the nose if I tried to do it. But whatever. Not that big of a deal. We're the. Uh, I don't know where the opponents are, but yeah, thankfully that springboard didn't die right there. That's good. So now the springboard could be... Oh, nice. I heard them in the background getting... Oh, getting launched or something like that. Speaking of launch, let's go towards the end here. Didn't even hit the mace at the top of the uh, the, the wheel of death. That's good. Oh, no, we got hit by the, uh, the whale. Oh, which knocked us into the towers. That's good. It kind of saved us. Didn't go flying that far. I'm going to keep the whale alive, though, just in case, but I don't think it matters because we're about to gonna win. Let's go, left side. Oh, no, I hit the pole there. <laughs> I tried to hit the crowd to the left side, but there was a heckin' pole in the way. Anyways, yeah, we won twice in a row. I've got my nose back intact. It's all 3D. That's awesome.
Anyways, let's continue on. How many uh, stars we get? Yeah, we got two stars up there. Now we're up to 98 stars. So yeah, definitely next episode we'll have enough stars to uh, unlock the Humpty Dumpty mission over here. But hey, I, th I think we're still having a lot of fun with this game, even though we're on the final episodes here. I had a lot of fun today, and I hope you guys did as well, because next time we come back with some more Rock of Ages, I think it's going to be the final episode. Rock of Ages 3, that is. I think it's going to be the final episode, and then what a bit adieu to this awesome game where we're just kind of memeing around having fun with heckin' balls, right? Oh god, I cut that out of the video. Uh, either way, like I said, two Humpty Dumpty missions over here we're going to be doing, and those are always pretty fun, because they're, you know, a little bit different with the Humpty Dumpty being able to do the double jump, and then, of course, every time he dies, like, three times or something like that, like, or, actually, I think it's twice, right? Like, the first time he gets cracked, and then the second time he actually, like, cracks open and the yolk goes flying everywhere. Uh, you have to watch out for that, which is pretty interesting. Then we also have the Moscow War and the France War up there to look forward to, as well as the Moscow Obstacle Course, Avalanche, and Ski Ball, so... I don't know, it might be a longer episode, considering we have two wars we're going to be doing up here, right? And of course, these, uh, these random, uh, challenges and Humpty Dumpty missions, but hey, seems like a pretty good send-off episode for next episode, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that about my latest videos, on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, so you don't miss an episode, because like I said, I think next episode is going to be the send-off episode for Rock of Ages 3, at least for the single-player story mode campaign. Like I said earlier in the campaign- Oh wait, hold on, what's this thing over here? Hot potato! Okay, well, uh, the fastest way to get rid of this potato is to smash it into your enemy's gate. Whoa! Kinda reminds me... of what was it? Not the bomb boulder. We had, uh, something that, like, explodes on impact with the gate that does, like, massive damage or something like that, right? But, like, it's able to die beforehand and then you have to, like, respawn. I forgot what it was, but we used it for at least, like, one war. I forgot what it was, but uh, oh, it was like a bomb boulder. Or it was the gunpowder boulder, I think, right? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, and then we had to make sure we didn't roll over the string too much, like, light the, uh, ignite the string or anything like that. It sounds like it's kind of similar to that hot potato we just unlocked. It seems, it's, it's kind of interesting that they're continuing, you know, two, three months. Yeah, about three months or something like that. After they release this game, they're adding boulders and stuff to single player. So he's pretty interesting. I'm not going to complain about it one bit, but hey, next time we come back, we have two new boulders we need to test out. The paint and the hot potato, and of course the two war missions, these obstacle courses over here, and the Humpty Dumpty missions. Seems like a chock full episode for next time, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Rock of Ages 3 Make and Break. Oh, bye there.